from uh, one of the worship leaders at Hillsong London. Uh, been in Hillsong for uh, 22 years now. Yeah, yeah my name's Ian. Um, I'm one of the musicians with Hillsong London as well. Um, my name's Megan, and I'm one of the photographers. My name is Sam Sandigababa. I'm from the Kingdom of Eswatini. Karibu, Kenya. Karibu, Kenya. Karibu, Kenya. Karibu, Kenya. Karibu, Kenya. I mean, we're um, we're so excited about Saturday. Uh, our first time as Hillsong London in uh, in Nairobi in Kenya, and uh, just can't wait. Uh, for Saturday night, so um, we definitely encourage uh, anyone who wants to be part of that to come along. But um, I think we're we're so excited about bringing the opportunity to bring people together um, from from all over the city and from wherever else people are coming from. And uh, really, the purpose of the night is, um, I mean, ultimately, it's about worshiping Jesus. Like we we are all Christians, um, and we are actually we're all part of church. Uh, we all serve and volunteer in our church, Hillsong Church. Uh, on Sundays and what we're doing essentially is taking what happens every Sunday uh, at home in Hillsong London actually taking it out outside of the four walls of the context of London and actually bringing it into other cities other nations and um, we just have the absolute privilege uh, this week of being uh, being in Nairobi uh, and just cannot wait for actually what's going to take place and I hope I really hope people come expectant um, you're going to hear songs that you that you know and love um, that you'd be familiar with but actually more than that, more than about the songs and way more than it is certainly not about us, but it is about coming together and worshiping Jesus. That is our, that's really our sole purpose. That's our, um, what we're here to do. And we just, we just want everyone, uh, as many people as possible to actually come and be part of that with us. Right. Um, so maybe, um, Ian, you can Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it is. Uh, it's my first time in Kenya. I don't know if you guys. Yeah. No, first time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's been amazing so yeah. far. We uh, we were a little tired when we got here. We did an overnight flight, um, but we got some rest. And then actually last night, yesterday afternoon, we we went into the national park. Um, so we went to we got to do that, which was really fun. See some of the animals. I saw two cheetahs. That was a personal, <laughs> absolute highlight for me. I've been I've done a few kind of safaris, but I've never seen cheetahs. Uh, so that I loved, absolutely loved that. But um, the team is loving being here, meeting new people, and just like you guys are absolutely amazing. Like such friendly, wel welcoming, warm people, and um, just look forward to more of that over the next few days. And um, maybe the next, the next person will be able to laugh at you. Maybe if they read some of you, and they are listening to you, and maybe they have told you, they get a lot of information. They are not sure, they are not sure whether they want to say or not. It's because um, uh, some of them maybe uh, don't know that. Um, I think the people that will, there'll be many people that will come and we hope so, <laughs> but for people who are maybe on the fence, a bit, uh, not quite sure, you know, if, I, I think hopefully the people come and they leave, they leave with a sense of hope. Um, that's actually, that would be something that we would love. And because the songs, the songs that we sing, they're worship songs, they're to God, they're about God. And when we sing them together, it, hopefully it, it, it instills a sense of hope yeah. um, that there actually is hope for the future. There is hope in this world, um, even though we may look around uh, around the world of some of the crazy stuff that is happening. But there actually is still hope. And that hope really only comes from Jesus. So everything that we do is about pointing people towards Jesus, who is hope, who is the source of hope, who is the source of life. And I'd say if you're at home and you're not sure and you, you actually you, you, you just need some hope in your life. I would say, come along, come along, be open, be expectant um, to to be to be. I mean, we've not we've not been here before um, as as Hillsong London, so this is our first time uh, coming here. So uh, we you know we do we do we do worship nights in different cities, and um, many of the songs that we sing in the different cities will be.
the, the familiar ones that people love, but there's always something unique uh, that happens in the night. Um, and there's always something special that takes place in every single night. And so we're just believing that it's not, um, you know, you can, you can, if people want to watch YouTube channels and uh, reference that, they're like, they're more than welcome to, but I'd say there's nothing like being um, in an environment together with other people um, and actually all worshiping together. There's, it's one thing to watch something, but it's another thing to actually be part of it and participate um, there in person. Um, that's a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, we're not, um, we're a church. Mm -hmm. uh, like, everything comes back to the fact that we're a church and we're not, um, we're not a, an artist as such. The songs, the songs that have come out of Hillsong have gone far and wide and people resonate, they recognize the songs. Um, and so everything for us comes back to about um, helping people worship. And, and so we, we will never, we'll never kind of um, deviate from that because that's, that's kind of, yeah, I, I, to be honest, I don't think it would be fair of me to comment on other other artists' decisions because I think um, that's that's kind of not for me to speak into. All I can speak into is really kind of what um, what I believe our mission is uh, when it comes to when it comes to worship and when it comes to serving people. And you know, God God places people in different lanes and He'll open different doors. And I think it's up to people to. Uh, use wisdom and discernment to to figure out which doors are the right doors to work, walk through. Um, but I, you know, God God still moves. Um, God can still move in every in every marketplace in every forum. Mm. It's not just limited to um, uh, one one sphere of music. God can still speak in every sphere of music that there is. Um, if and it's helping people point people back to Jesus. I mean, there's. I mean, watch out for what happens. Well, I can say, watch out for what happens. Uh, there could be could be things happening uh, at some point. So yeah, you know, only only on only on, on YouTube and all other channels. Uh, the first thing that struck my mind was that um, Nairobi, the Kenyans are very lucky to have a Hillsong coming to Kenya. Um, I, I think most countries would want that to happen. Um, um, I, I think I think personally myself. It still remains a shock. I'm so shocked I'm sitting with them. Um, I'm a God-fearing man. When I see his songs always singing, there's this kind of a, a dimension of God that they always bring. We, we hear different kind of music, gospel artists all the time, but there's this way that they, they, they use to minister. Um, I, think, I think it said it earlier on that for them, it's all about church. I think those boundaries have actually been very important to their music. Um, they inspire a lot of people. Um, I, I still maintain it that Kenya is very lucky. Nairobians are very lucky to have his song here. Um, I'm, I'm honored myself. I'm a poet. Um, I, 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 I believe in, 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 in the divinity of God the Almighty, but I'm also inspired by nature. Um, so at some point in time as a musician, there comes a point where it's not about you, it's all about your country. Um, so Lele Maswati comes from there. It just talks about us as a kingdom. Um, um, remember kingdom, it's, it's, we, we always think, most of the time, us as Swatini, that if you read the Bible, when Jesus sent, when God sent uh, Jesus' first assignment, he said, I'm here for the kingdom of heaven. So Swatini is a country where we call ourselves the jewel of God. We believe in God. We believe that there is no other uh, God on earth. There is only one God. We thank God the Almighty for who we are, where we come from, and we also hope and we know that the next coming years will be easy for us so long as we don't move away from God the Almighty. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there's seasons in everything, right? There's seasons in life, and I've, we've seen the world, even in the last few years, change so much uh, with their various events and uh, things happening, and I think there's something... Incredible that it's there's something so constant 
uh, in God. Um, and when everything around around us changes, like God is the one constant thing, um, and His Word is constant. His Word is true and it's faithful. And I think the message within the songs uh, should, you know, hopefully it reflects that. Um, that when things do shake. When do things change, whether it's in uh, home life, in family, in work, um, or globally, when things change and they will continue to change over the years and over time, that there is one thing that we can actually uh, set our hope upon, um, and that's Jesus. Uh, and that's everything that he's done for us. And it's so great having, when everything's, you know, because we can get shaken uh, by things, by events uh, around the world that happen, and fear can be instilled, but actually the fact that we have, we have God who is faithful, who is constant, who he never changes. Um, he said, the Bible says, the word says the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so we can kind of put our hope in that. And hopefully, hopefully, actually, that comes through in the songs that actually, despite everything, despite madness in life and chaos uh, around us, that actually there is still hope and there is a constant hope. Um, I think, I think because. I think my answer would still be the same like his. Um, it's all about it's all about giving people confidence, giving people hope. If, if you are spiritually weak, you can lose focus. So people's hope needs to be revived from now and then, um, because even even if you go back to the Bible, you read the story of Joseph from his home. To the throw to the seat of being a prime minister, life was too extraordinary tough. But the Bible keeps on saying God was, was with Joseph. God was with Joseph. So we need we need to make people understand that though life is extraordinary tough to extremes at the moment, but God is there and will always be there for each and every one of us. The tougher it is, the more we should pray. So. We, we need to keep on all the time praying and inspiring people to pray. Um, I, 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 I think that's it. I, um, I would kind of come back to what I said um, earlier about hope. About hope. I think there's hope. But if we don't have hope, what, what, what is there? If, you know, we, we all need, humanity needs a hope. And uh, we can see people put hope in different things. People put their hope in the wrong thing. People put hope in things that are going to fail. People put hope in people that are going to fail. And our goal and our message would be that actually people put their hope in Jesus. Um, you know, we always give a moment, uh, an opportunity in every one of our worship nights for actually people to hope. Um, and it can ch change the trajectory of your life um, because of who you're following. And so our message is hope. Our message, but it's hope in the right thing. Not hope in the wrong things, but hope in Jesus Christ. All right, here, um, we, I mean, we have some, to be honest, we have a great, um, I know f personally a few few people over here um, have had conversations even over the last couple of days um, just about about being here, about the night, and uh, taking some good, good wisdom from those guys, so I appreciate them. You know what, there's so many amazing um, worship songs and people who are putting out great worship music we are, we are not the only ones um so the goal is i'm not the goal is not to everyone has to listen to hill song that's there's so much there are so many good faithful people who are writing faithful worship songs um across the world and um if people can uh, attach themselves or gain you know get something from any of those songs that's that's a win for for, for all christians mm. it should be um, and that would, that would be what I would say to that. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Welcome. I sing a team and I love music. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> I am Ricky. I do video and I love music. Hi, I'm Joel. I also sing. And and I love Nairobi. Hi, <laughs> um, I'm Richard. I do production audio as well. I also love cake. Hi, I'm Callum. I do lighting and I love cereal. Awesome. Hi, I'm Nathaniel. I play drums and I like life. Yay. Yay.
No, we <laughs> look, we need to leave some surprises for the night. Uh, <laughs> we have to leave some surprises. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, no, we're, yeah you, if you want that, you've got to come. You've got to come to the night. <laughs> ah, all right. So maybe just uh, tell people we know Saturday at Carnival Ground. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, um, we're Hillsong London and we're going to be at Carnival Grounds on Saturday night. Uh, we would love for you for, to join us. The gates open at 5.30. I think the night starts at 6 o'clock. Um, but we would love for you to be there. It definitely would not be the same without you. So come. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.